Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun and today I am back to show you guys um, a new savings challenge that I do have up and available in my shop. So when this video posts, um, the savings challenge will be up. The listing will be available for purchase in my Etsy shop and I'll have that linked down in the description. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a very busy day. I'm sitting down to film very quickly in between errands that I am running. So let's go ahead and look at this new gorgeous binder that I have for you guys. So this is the 20 envelope savings challenge. And I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out. As you can see, it's not a full size binder. It's a mini size binder, which I really, really love. I like that it's not too big. So as much as I love my 100 envelope challenge, and I really, really do, I really love it and adore it. I'm doing it for the second time this year. I thought I would do a 20 envelope challenge. It's like a mini version of the 100 envelope challenge. So it should be quicker to do. So not exactly instant gratification, but um, I feel like I am making more progress if I kind of break up my savings challenges into chunks sometimes. So like little steps forward. Sometimes those 100 envelope challenges can go on for months and months and months, which mine is, it will go on for quite a few months, probably half the year this year. Um, but this one you should be able to do fairly quickly depending on the way that you work it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this is the front cover. It says 20 envelope savings challenge and it has my logo right here at the bottom. And um, this is the back of it. And let's open it up and take a look. So I do have a really cute um, sun charm here because my channel is at home in the sun and I thought that was a really cute touch. And you can move it around if you would like it at the bottom or the top. And so in here we have some simple envelopes. They are numbered one through 20, as you can see. And these stickers are holographic, so they might look different colors depending on the way that the light hits it. So all the way to 20 at the back here. And you insert the money in this way. So let me grab a five. So I'm gonna use this five to show you how we're gonna insert the money into our envelope. So the pocket's actually on the back of the envelope. It's right here. And we're gonna insert our money like that. And then you can see it from both sides, the front and the back, and that's it. So let's take the money out and let's talk about some ways that you can use this savings challenge. And really you can come up with any number of ways to use this. So. I came up with seven um, just to give you guys some ideas of how you can use this savings challenge. And whether you're low income, you know, median income or high income, you could use this no matter what your budget is. So the first way that you can use this is just using the numbers as your denomination. So for each envelope, you would stuff $1 two dollars etc all the way to 20 and stuff twenty dollars in this if you choose to do it by the numbers then it, that would total two hundred and ten dollars when this was done the second way to use this challenge is probably the way that i'm going to use it when i start this challenge sometime this year in 2023 so the second way is rounding up to the next five so that means for numbers one two three four and five, I would stuff $5 into each of those. And through numbers six through 10, I would round up and I would stuff 10. 11 through 15, I would stuff 15. And 16 through 20, I would stuff 20. So if you chose to do it that way, the total would be $250. And like I said, that's probably the way that I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't wanna have to worry about all of the ones, so I'll just do mine in denominations of fives. A third way of using this challenge is to take the envelope number and add your age. So for example, I'm 38 years old. So for this, I would do 38 plus one. So I would stuff 39 into this one. And then 38 plus two is 40. So I would stuff 40 into this one. Also, depending on your age, if you're in your 20s, obviously you're not gonna be stuffing as much as if you're in your 30s, 40s, or 50s, or even higher than that. So. That's another way of doing it. Also, a different idea is take your envelope number plus the temperature. Now, this could be problematic for me because we live in South Florida and it is very warm. I think it's in the 80s today. Last week, I think we had some days that were in the 90s. It was very, very hot. 
and it's still February, you guys. Like we have really high temperatures all year long. So for me, if I were to do it that way, that would be a higher income version because it would be like, you know, 80 degrees plus one, that would be $81 just in one envelope. So that is definitely a higher income version way of doing it, depending on where you live. If you live up north where the temperatures aren't as high as where I am, this would be a lower income version probably for you. So you could work this challenge for any number of things. I just gave you two examples of adding the envelope number plus your age and the temperature of where you live. Another way to do this challenge is actually the way that I am doing my 100 envelope challenge this year in 2023. I am just adding random amounts this year. So whatever you have left over from paying your bills, expenses and sinking funds, you could just throw into each envelope and just do random amounts. I decided to do that this year for my 100 envelope challenge, just to give myself a little bit of a break because I have been really busy and not have to shuffle around all kinds of different denominations to stuff um, a certain amount into each envelope. So let's talk about the fifth idea for using the 20 envelope challenge. So the fifth idea I came up with was just adding the same amount to every envelope. Make it super easy on yourself. For example, just add $10 to every envelope. So if you did that, at the end you would have $200. Or just add a $20 bill to every envelope. At the end of that you would have $400. You could do any random number that you picked. You could do your age and stuff your age into each envelope. So that is a, probably the easiest way if you just want to deal with one denomination in each of your 20 envelopes. So let's talk about the sixth way that I came up with to use this savings challenge. So this one involves adding or multiplying. So you would take a die and I do not have a die with me. I probably should have got one for this video, but I forgot to grab one. But if you roll a six sided die and then add or multiply the number you roll by the number on your envelope. So for example, if you're doing your first envelope and you roll your dice and you roll a six, that would be, you could add it or you could multiply it. Now adding is gonna be a lower income version and multiplying would be a higher income version. So if you rolled a six, it would be six times one, you would stuff $6, or for the lower income version for adding, you would do six plus one, which would be seven. Now if you do the multiplication version, once you get up to the higher numbers, like 18, 19, 20, you're gonna have a lot higher amounts if you're multiplying. So for lower incomes, I would suggest just using the addition method. So if you rolled a six once again and you were using the addition method, it would be 20 plus six, which would only be $26. That would be the highest that you stuffed in here if you were doing your challenge in that way. And the seventh way, the very last way that I came up with to do this challenge is just by choosing an end goal amount that you want to save and dividing that by 20. So for example, if I wanted to save $200, if that was my goal for something, then I would go $200 divided by 20 envelopes. So that would mean I would stuff $10 per envelope. If you wanted to make your end goal amount higher, like $1,000, so you would take $1,000 divided by 20, and that would mean you would stuff $50 into each envelope. And that is the seven ideas that I have come up with of how to use this. There are, I'm sure, many, many other ways that you guys can come up with of how to use this savings challenge. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments of my new savings challenge. And remember, it is available for purchase in my Etsy shop, and that will be linked in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this new savings challenge. And if you like it, I hope you consider purchasing it from my shop. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.